Welcome back, you guys. Uh, I wanted to talk about a brand that has kind of got to the forefront of sneaker culture through good collaborations, uh, good quality sneakers, uh, giving us what we really want. Um, and this is a shoe I already had a colorway of. I ended up selling it so I could help pay bills. Uh, now that uh, they've gone down in price and uh, I'm more financially stable, uh, uh, I've decided to buy two of the colorways. Two of the colorways I did not have at first. The forest green and the navy. Uh, these are obviously the New Balance 550s um, with the brand ALD. I don't know how to pronounce it, but these shoes have been wildly popular ever since they came out. They are beloved and Everyone just like can't get enough of them. Uh, originally, there were four colorways. There was obviously the green, maybe the one I, the other one I had, which was the red and black. That was the only two, only one that featured two colors. All the others were just like this. And the only one that I've not owned was the silver one that is also sitting around like I think in my size, it hasn't even gone over 220 yet which is crazy, but these colors were at some point, I think going for like $600, maybe even eight, seven or 800 at some point. Um, so now for them to be re-released and now going for 200 is absolutely crazy. And I think these are more than worth the price. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. I learned from my last pair that you need to go half a size down. I have a fairly wide foot. So for me to tell you go half a size down, I really fucking mean that. Like this fits like slightly snug, but it, like it fits way better. Like my foot was going all over the fucking place in an 11 and a half. And a size 11, this thing fits my foot. Luckily, like when I say it's snug, it's it's just a bit more snug than how I'm used to with shoes. I kind of like a bit of looseness around my toes, but this doesn't really give it. But it fits really well, and I can still wear it for a while. Um, I haven't actually worn these around too much. Uh, I literally just got this one in right before filming. This one I've had for a day now, and I was just kind of, I just put them on just to make sure they fit right. I cannot wait to wear these. These are amazing. I love the yellow sole. I love the cracked leather on the logo. I love the absolute details of this. Now, there have been two more colorways to come out. That is a red and navy, and then a green and a pale yellow. And both of those are also fucking amazing. Nowadays, that red and navy, that green and yellow, and the original red and black pair are all going for a lot more money. The red and navy is just under 300. The yellow and green is like in the high 300s, maybe even 400s. And then the fucking red and black is at like around the $500 price range. But <laughs> these two colorways are in the low 200s. Some of them, some of the size are, sizes are even below uh, 200, which is crazy to think that these were some of the most popular shoes. Now, something I do want to get into, uh, they come with extra laces. They come with a more cream colored lace, and they also come with the uh, laces that match uh, the other, the green. This one comes with the cream colored and the navy laces, uh, and then, Let's count, I want to count it against the materials. I've kind of already gone over this. On the logo, we have this uh, kind of cracked leather. It feels nice. It feels smooth, which is the weird part. Like you don't expect it to feel smooth, but it does. All this leather is very smooth and it feels good to the touch. Like, you know it's not the most premium leather. Like this is, it's good though. Uh, I don't know what the original, I think these were like, 
I have no idea what these originally went for. Um, let's see. Uh, hold on. One of the boxes is over here. Okay, I don't see a price tag on it, weirdly. Uh, I don't know how much these originally went for. I think they were around the one, one under, they were under 150 though. Uh, if I'm wrong, just feel free to correct me and call me an idiot. But the leather is pretty good. This uh, kind of textile material, it's also in the sock liner, is pretty good. It's comfy. I like the uh, paddedness around the ankle. I like padding on uh, shoes. Um, this is my favorite part. Also, the part that you guys probably already know about is the comfort inside the shoe. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this out. This nice, thick insole. This has the New Balance arch support. Oh, let me see, does it say what kind of, uh, it does not say what kind of cushioning it has. These shoes are always super comfortable. No matter what New Balance shoe you get, it's always gonna be super comfortable, which is the nice thing. Like, this is why I think New Balance is possibly the best sneaker brand for the moment. They have great collaborations. They have good quality and then they're comfortable. They're actually really, really good to wear, especially for a long time. Um, there was something about these shoes, I'm trying to remember, someone told me. Uh, the insoles had like something special about them, but I don't see it. Uh, the insoles to show you, uh, one of them says, the ALD and the Apple, and then the other one's just New Balance. So I couldn't find that. I should have looked before filming. The other uh, notable things is the tongue. It has, on the regular 550s, it's a basketball, like try, kind of bouncing. This is an Apple, obviously the ALD logo. Um, another nice thing is these look perforated, but it's, doesn't feel like it. Uh, in fact, it looks like it's just printed on, which is the weird thing. Uh, both sides, like it just looks printed on. It feels like it too. Uh, there is this 550 here in the color of uh, the rest of the leather accents. There's this little bit of netting right at the bottom of the laces. The tongue is made of nylon, obviously. Um, the outsoles and the midsoles. The midsoles are yellowed as if the shoe has been uh, actually been sitting around for the 20, 30 plus years that it hasn't been sold. Um, these outsoles are super thick, which is nice. Like everything about this shoe is thick, but obviously these are notably deep outsoles, like uh, you'll wear these for a long time before they ever uh, start to fade or fucking flatten out. Uh, I think this is, it says non-marking sole on there. I don't really know what that means. If you do, uh, let me know. But this shoe, uh, I give a solid eight out of 10. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Um, there have been some more colorways, general release in line colorways. Um, but uh, I remember when they announced more colorways were coming out, there were colorways that were super similar to the red and black pair. And I was like, okay, I really want the green and navies. Um, they came out with some green and navy ones recently. Um, but these ended up dropping in price and I was like, oh, I'll just get these. But there's there's already three more colorways coming out that I really want. And I'm going to tell you guys them right now. The design is obviously going to be different. The colors are orange, Carolina blue, and black. And the logos are going to look like they're going to just be white leather. And then the accent around them is going to be the color. Uh, it's going to be like... It's gonna be very similar to this. It looks, I can't remember it, but I remember it's mostly white and then a lot of the accenting colors 
are like the color. Like there's gonna be a hit of uh, the Carolina blue around it. There's gonna be hits of the orange around it, hits of the black. And those ones look the best by far. And when those come out, I'm going to immediately try and grab them. Uh, but there are other colorways very similar to these that have recently dropped called the Sports Pack. And I would absolutely recommend getting those because they're sitting at like $125. And I think uh, they're good colors, but uh, I have a lot of red, blue, red and blue shoes. So the only one I would get is green, but this is the green one I really wanted. So I just grabbed this. Um, I would say like absolutely keep an eye out for these. There's a lot of good colorways and that uh, a lot of people tend to like. There's purple, there's been yellow, there's been uh, some navy and gold. So absolutely keep an eye out. Uh, both of these absolutely amazing. I can't recommend them enough. Um, and I, I guess that's it. Absolutely keep eyes out for more New Balance collaborations. There have been amazing ones. I will try and cover whatever I can get my hands on. Uh, but thank you guys for watching this video. I'm so happy to have two of these sneakers in my collection. I absolutely love them. The design of these shoes, amazing. Uh, the quality could absolutely be better, but at the price that I think they were charged, which is like 130, 140 when they came out, I, I could be wrong. Uh, I didn't even try go, to go for these at retail because I knew I wouldn't get them, but absolutely go and get your hands on just the 550s in general, not necessarily collabs, but if you can do it, if you just have to buy an inline, they're still good. I'm kind of rambling. Thank you guys for watching this and have a wonderful, wonderful day.